No, it is not a typo. We have a box break of 2024 Select Footy Stars. Uh, it's actually the retail box. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the hobby box itself. Uh, I'm just going to have some fun today. I haven't ripped open Prugged in a long, long while, so let's get straight into it. So apologies to everyone, uh, more so for the fact that I don't know the actual parallels of the cards too well. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys that might watch me, again, apologize to the Americans out there because they're going to look at this and be like, what's this American football without helmets that I'm seeing here? But um, yeah, I, I love AFL Percy. I don't get to post as much content on it because, uh, you know, the AFL card market in comparison to the AFL and NFL card market is much different. But in terms of the AFL card market, I have a lot of things that I like to collect. People that have watched the channel for a while, they would know that I'm a massive Richmond fan. Uh, and I don't know, don't think we're going to win the Premiership this year, unfortunately. But, you know, that's just the way sport is. And I've butchered that already in terms of how it looks. But let's get started with the 36 packs. Uh, first one, we'll just go slowly so I can kind of see what I'm looking at here. These packs are hard to open and they also take a while. So once we get, get through the start, I'm going to try and smash through them a little bit more. Bought this one for $160 or $140, but I got a $20 off discount code with Cherry. So uh, yeah, did use that one in the end. Uh, but yeah, these are very nice cards. I always like giving these ones out to kids or eBay orders. Uh, but yeah, great set for kids to get into. So Luke Davies Uniac, uh, Dylan Moore, Zach Merritt. Look at the back as well. So very typical of footy stars to have all the stats in the back. Uh, we have Luke Jackson. Okay, so this is the Luminous card. Are these numbered? No. So this is just a Luminous base. I need to actually get this one up. Okay, so it's just a Luminous base, but each, there are like the numbered Luminous cards. Okay, so I'll get that one right. Luminous card there of Toby Green. And then behind we have uh, Chelsea Randall. Oscar Allen, Jason Horn, Jason Horn, Francis, and Nina Morrison. All right, so they do include AFLW and AFL in this as well. So great for some of the girl collectors out there that want to get some some, some AFLW cards. Uh, yeah, great for them. Uh, I think they should, you know, maybe expand on on, on the women's product because they did have some out last year. But I, when I looked at it, it wasn't as like good as I would have thought it would have been. But yeah, let's get through Jesse Motlop. Due for a big season, Dyson Heppel, Alex Pierce, Tara Bohanna. All right, so what do we have? Carlton, the footy heads, Tom DeConing. Very nice card there. Not numbered, but yeah. Uh, I don't know how frequent they are as well. Luke Jackson, the luminous base. Unnumbered there as well. Uh, Aaron Norton, a still side bottom, and Lockie Whitfield. I mean, last year, uh, if any of you guys remember the, um, the the 2023 footy stars that I opened, I got a platinum GWS Premiership Predictor. And I remember when I looked at it, and you can see my reaction in the video, I was just like, like, oh my God, if any team, any team other than the Giants. And if you watched the footy, you would have seen what happened to the Giants. They made the prelim and lost very closely to the team that ended up winning the Premiership, which was Collingwood. And they look very good this year. They beat Collingwood. Um, obviously beat North as well. I don't know where North will be, probably more in the bottom. But yeah, to see where that card ended up, if I actually do remember at the time, if I sold it then and there, I would have sold it for about 25 to 30 bucks. And I ended up selling it for $200 uh, just after GWS won their semi-final. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, the Premiership predictors, if you don't make it into that final grand final or obviously win the grand final, then it becomes uh, pretty much worthless. So Toby Nankervis, uh, Jared Berry, Adam Saad, Carl Amon. Okay, Errol Goulden, the Stats Kings. That is not numbered, but he's a very, not very nice card there. And then we have Sam Collins. Very nice card there as well, the Luminous. Uh, Tom Lirittore, Brad Crouch, and Alice Parker. So, did start a Supercoach League up again. Uh, I've talked about it again on this channel before. If I didn't have a, uh, a channel on sports cards, I would probably have one on, actually, I would have one on fragrances or colognes, and then I'd probably have one on Supercoach as well. So, really into my Supercoach. Last year, I came top 500, so I got the KFC socks, which I was pretty proud about. Uh, but yeah, really love my Supercoach. It gets me through the year pretty well. So, Brianne Moody... Jarman Impey, Dusty, 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 uh, Ali Drennan, 
And then Luminous Base, we have Josh Dunkley, which is also unnumbered. Uh, Brittany Benici, we have Callan Ward, Alex Neil Bullen, Amy McDonald. So uh, obviously with the Luminous cards, uh, yeah, the parallels will be numbered. I have it right next to me, so hopefully I don't stuff up, you know, anything like that. And hopefully I don't miss a card that's actually worth a little bit. But with these sorts of, you know, free stars, you're not, you're not going to get like big cards like Legacy or Optimum in, um, or Supremacy, but it's still a fun rip nonetheless. So Dane Rampey, Griffin Logue, Matt Rao, absolutely smashed Richmond. Uh, we have Jacob Hopper, Tom DeConing. Is that anything? Oh, there we go, Luminous. There you go. So that's the Luminous out of 199. Uh, what is this one? I am trying to look for it. So Luminous, Luminous. So this is the Superstar. So one in every 200 packs. Very nice. Tom DeConing. I'll take that one. Numbered out of 299. Not jumper number, unfortunately, but still a very nice card nonetheless. Uh, yeah, he played also very well against Richmond. Footyheads, Nikolaki, we can chuck there. Viney, Rankin, and Bella Lewis. So, first numbered card that has come out there. There's a lot of luminous insets. One of them actually looks like the prism stained glass that they have. And I, I've noticed that, you know... Um, AFL Select have really tried to copy a lot of, you know, the American cards, which I think is great. I know people say that, you know, it's going to become too similar to American, you know, uh, yeah, to, to Americanize it really by having one of ones, but I still, still think it's pretty cool. Um, but they'd still like to, you know, keep it their way with no one of ones. I mean, jumper numbers and 001s are still worth the most. Uh, Cam Zerha, footy heads of Luke Jackson, very nice. Uh, Harry Himmelberg, Base Luminous, Trelaw, Rowan Marshall, and Ashley Saint. If you guys are playing Supercoach, let me know how your team went in round one. I went a little bit risky, have a couple of pods in my team. Dan Houston, who played pretty well, uh, also have Carl Amon, thought he might get that halfback role. Um, I think, yeah, it was just unfortunate. The Bombers didn't really kick too many behind, so that kind of stopped him, but... Uh, I will keep him for this week uh, at the moment. So 100 milestone games. So I'm pretty sure it goes up in terms of how many games they play. So I think 200 or 250 is like platinum. I don't know if it's actually rarer, but it's platinum. And then 200 or 150 is gold. And you get silver and then this would be bronze. So Lockie Keith, honestly, to get to 100 games with his career, banned, uh, out of the AFL for a couple of seasons and obviously back in now. So props to him. Jack Sinclair, the luminous base. Uh, Boke, Pendles, uh, Tani Evans, Sam DeConning, Tommy's brother. If you guys have opened this as well, let me know what you've pulled. Any any big pulls? I'd love to hear. Hopefully nothing that is... Uh, well, obviously, if you guys pulled something, it's not going to be in this box, but hopefully I get something that can match something nice that you guys have pulled. Hayley Miller, Noah Bolter. Man, love this game against Carlton. Uh, Jai Simkin, Matty Presparkas. Jack Ross. Ooh, I think this is actually... Uh, this isn't a base, is it? Yeah, there you go. Out of 5.99. Very nice. That will go very nicely into the PC. So out of 5.99, uh, these are the Thunderbolts. And then, yeah, you get them one in every 12 packs. So we're expecting to see three of these in here. So that's actually a lot of numbered cards. I like how, how selective up the uh, numbered cards in here. So... Let's hope I remember the parallels. So the Thunderbolts, we've had the Superstars so far. Um, Connor Rose, loose Connor Rose, Rose here on the right. Let's move on. All right. Hopefully a good Premiership predictor. I mean, you'd want like a GWS, a, well, I was gonna say Brisbane. You still could want Brisbane. I like Port, I like Collingwood still, like Carlton. Rising Star, you'd want North. Uh, you want West Coast. Uh, yeah, there's a few good ones there. So Tom Papley. Uh, Tilly, Lucas Rod, Harry Mackay, Noah Anderson, Bailey Humphrey, really like Bailey Humphrey, looks much different to this now, has like a full sleeve and, you know, a shaved head, uh, he's gone through the dusty transformation, <laughs> Jack Chris, Andrew Gaff, Taylor Harris and Rory Sloan, alright, what are we up to now, I always lose count with these, you got 36 packs, Becomes very repetitive, but let's get some nice cards in here. All right. Ebony Antonio, Tom Lynch, welcome back. Tom McCartan. All right. Footyheads, Ben King, another player who 
did quite well against us uh, in the round zero. Uh, and then we have Max King. There you go. One of one, back to back. <laughs> uh, so we've got that, put that there. And then that one's a base, I'm pretty sure. The Luminous base. Brad Hill, Georgia Garnett, Tyson Stengel, and Cody Waitman. All right, moving on. Trying to rip, trying to rip. All right. Jasmine Fleming, Sam Doherty, Will Ashcroft, Lockie Weller, footy heads, we have Jack Darling, base luminous, Adam Chalor. Nice card there. Uh, Baz Lenka, Jesse Wardlaw, and Jordan Dawson, the Adelaide Footy Club captain. All right. All right, let's go here. We have Steph Kane, Emma Carney, Jai Newcomb, Brianna Conan. Uh, ooh, okay, Stat Kings, very nice. Purple. Behind, we have a base luminous of Aaron Norton, unnumbered. That's a very nice purpley sort of card. I don't know if I don't know if it actually goes by rarity in terms of color. I'm gonna look at that, look that up right after this uh, pack. So Aaron Norton base. Brianna Davey, Cozzy Pickett, and Tex Walker. No, nope, don't listen to me because uh, they're one in every six packs. I don't know, the color just, it looked really nice. So I thought it might be worth something. I like seeing color, a lot of color. All right, Hayden Young in my Supercoach team, Errol Gordon, uh, Ellie McKenzie, Jake Stringer, Riley O'Brien. So this is the Thunderbolt. And if I remember right, he's jumper number 43. Let's see if we can get the 43 here. Definitely not. 548 out of 599. I'll take it. Uh, we have Maxi Gorn, uh, Hannah Ewings, Jack Darling, Jamie Elliott. All right, moving on. Carly Kerno, Darcy Parrish, Katie Brennan, Caleb Sarong. He had 46 touches last week. Ben Keys. Love Ben Keys a couple of years ago. It was a Good player for the Supercoach team. The base luminance. Uh, Molly McDonald, Grian Myers, Dan Houston, Ali Blackburn. Uh, what I might do, I'm going to get these out so I actually know how much is left. Otherwise, I'm just going to be guessing. And I like to know how much is left. I'm a little bit superstitious like that. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're not even halfway. 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we are nowhere, oh, we're close to being halfway, but we're not halfway. So let's go on to the next one. This one feels thick. It really shouldn't feel thick to be fair. I think I'm just being a bit superstitious. Kiara Bowers, Warpool, Langford, Jack Higgins. What was he the leader of? Was it like small forward goals? Is this a Thunderbolts? Yeah, Thunderbolts. Here we go, Dan Rioli. There you go, 17, that is his number. Oh wait, no, that's just the base. What have I done there? Oh yeah, 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 it's a little bit different. 17, well there you go. Uh, Kate Hoare, Tom Green, Jamie Cripps, Ebony Marinoff. All right, moving on, let's get to the next one. Let's get to the next one. Let's get some nice ones here. No big pulls yet, just a couple, you know, numbered luminous cards. But I do like how they've increased the numbered cards in here. Chloe Malloy, Sam Walsh, Hugh McCluggage, Moncon, absolute gun. Oh, here we go. This is a nice looking card. Future Force, Justin Clark. Don't think that's numbered. No. He hasn't played the first two rounds, so hopefully he gets a gig. Uh, base, Todd Marshall. Has, does watch the YouTube channel. I don't know if he still does anymore, but another Todd Marshall there. But yeah, shout out to you, Todd Marshall, if you're watching this. Uh, let's go on to the next one. We're almost halfway. Like I said, these these openings can take a long time. I should like there should be like a speed run of this. See how quickly you can get it done. Ben King, Q Greenwood, uh, Cynthia Hamilton. Jeez, Quadzilla on that. Footy heads, Isaac Heaney. All right, and we have the base on the back of Jack Crisp, Mister Consistent, Mister Doesn't Miss a Game. Harry Himmelberg, Emma Swanson, Anne Hatchard, and Braden Maynard. I reckon I'm just going to um, just really skip the back. Like, once I get to the to the, the hits, 
I'm just gonna skip the back. All right, we'll see how long that takes because I know Habit will come in. And we have Luke Ryan, uh, Archie Perkins, Brianna, Brianne Moody, Jarman Impey, Joy Amis, Gun. put that there. And we have the base at the back. This stack of base on the right is getting bigger and bigger. Let's get that, watch the corners over here. Getting a lot of rubbish down here on my left as well. Uh, Sicily out already, suspended. <laughs> Jack Lacocious, there we go. A gold, Nick Haynes. Beautiful. Again, I don't know if it's rarer. I'll have to look that one up as well. Jason Horn Francis. Uh, I was going to say Jeremy Clarkson, not Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, and we said we wouldn't read the back, and I've already read the back. Let's see uh, if they are rarer. No, I don't think it is. I think it's, it's one in every nine packs, so I think they're all pretty similar. So uh, I think it's just more to differentiate, you know, if you've played 100 games or 150 or 200 or 250 games. Uh, so yeah, that no, makes sense. <laughs> ah. I can't get this one open. Oh my god. I don't know how if you're a breaker you open this consistently. Like there is so much to get through. I mean obviously they speed run it, but again. Alright, Dusty. Ali Brennan, Brayshaw, Mason Cox. There we go. And I don't think no, that's not the numbered one. Yeah, good. At least I'm learning him. And the base at the back. Alright, I reckon we're about halfway now. And I'm going to have to get rid of this stack in front of me because it is getting bigger and bigger. Finally got the, the you know, the mouse pad as well. The Matt's Card Shop mouse pad. It took a while. Uh, but yeah, got it done online. So happy with that. Sam Draper, Ali Anderson, Cam Zerha, Tom Papley. And then we have the Stats Kings. Very nice of Cozzy Pickett. And then we have another Cozzy Pickett. So Cozzy Pickett pack there. The Luminous Base. Callan Ward, Alex Neil Bullen, Amy McDonald. Yeah, let me know in the comments who, who do you guys think will win Premiership, your wild call. I don't know if I have a wild call. Uh, it might be that Richmond <laughs> wins the Premiership, but I think that's just bias there. Noah Anderson, Footy Heads, Jack Viney, Patrick Dangerfield, Luminous Space, Unnumbered, Trelaw, yeah, skip those. Yeah, I don't know. Another another wild call. I'm trying to even think. I think Sydney for Premiership looks pretty good as well. I like them. I know they beat Collingwood, but I just think that the talent they've added in the offseason, Taylor Adams, Brody Grundy, James Jordan. Um, yeah, it looks like a really good team. They're very well well drilled, and you've got players like Errol Gordon, Ch Chad Warner, Logan McDonald, who just have another year under their belt. So very, uh, yeah, very confident on the Swans. They looked very good against the... Uh, uh, against the Magpies. Uh, Tom Papley, speaking of Swans, Luminous Base, very nice. Gaff, Taylor Harris, and players I said I wouldn't read out, and I've already broken that habit, but that's okay. Getting towards, the, I reckon, the last 12-ish. All right, David Swallow, Ash Riddell, did studied uni with Ash Riddell. Fun story there. Uh, Harris Andrews, Dion Prestia, Footyheads, Jordan DeGoey, and then we have a base of Rory Sloan at the back. Come on, we need like a one all right here, like a Premiership predictor, Brownlow predictor. If you get a... Ah, uh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. We've got to clear this out. But if you get a Nick Dacos uh, Brownlow predictor, I mean, that's a pretty big card already. All right, let's clear this up, and I will come back back once it's all cleared up. All right, next, next pack up, we've cleared it up. It's looking a bit cleaner. So clean pa clean mouse pad, clean everything. Doesn't mean we get a clean card. Very nice card, Dan Rioli, Jazz Garner, Josh Dunkley, Brody Majek, Sat Kings. Oh, these should be numbered, I reckon. I don't know, the purple's really throwing me off. Oscar Allen, that is unnumbered. That is a base, a new West Coast captain. And then we have the players at the back. Come on. All right, let's flip this around. Let's make this a bit more fun. I'm going to flip these around. Do a bit of a superstition. If you ever watch FIFA, ever, FIFA YouTubers who are very superstitious, they used to, you know, do the kiss to camera, used to do it with their eyes closed. <laughs> Maybe we should do one with the eyes closed. And I will, when I'm editing this, uh, yeah, you guys, actually, no, I'll do it with my eyes closed and I'll look at it because I don't want to, 
look at it after I'm editing and I'm like, oh, I've, I've stuffed this up here. All right, Montana ham, eyes closed. So it's one, two, three, four, and I'm pretty sure it's the fifth. So fifth or the sixth, there you go. So fifth and sixth cards. All right, I'm gonna open my eyes now. Three, two, one. Oh, all right, Bobby, Norm, Norm, Norm Hill. Oh, 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 there we go. Premiership predictor. <laughs> I just put it down. 77 of 315. I mean, that's not bad. I'm telling you, I, I, I mean, I'm not telling you. I, I don't mind Port, but, you know, a lot of the Port fans, they don't like Ken Hinckley. Oh, that, there you go. I'll, I think that the other one that they used to do, like, discard packs, uh, you know, when they used to, like, you know, scroll through it, and then they would delete the pack. Uh, I was thinking as well, I'm not going to do it, but, like, you cut your cut the pack in half, and then, um, yeah, maybe we uh, see what's in it, but no, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna trigger people, I'm not gonna trigger myself, I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. All right, let's do another Close Your Eyes packs because the uh, Premiership Predictor one was the one that did well. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, and three, two, one. Nick Martin, oh, sorry, I'm getting it wrong. Four and five are the ones that have the uh, insert. So, Nick Martin and Aaron Norton, uh, and then the base luminous for Nick Martin, and then yeah, we have the base cards in the back. There you go. Right, I've I've learned the layout. Four and five are the ones that we should be looking out for. Port, yeah, there you go. So Nick Martin, uh, Tim Taranto, Callum Mills, Took Miller, uh, Max Holmes is. I'm really confused. No, this is Thunderbolt. Max Holmes. He's been talked about a little bit lately. Uh, 491 of 599, very nice. I mean, with the high numbering of this sort of stuff, you can just tell, like, there is going to be a lot of these produced. So, um, yeah, in terms of retail, it's going to be a lot. Hobby, uh, there's obviously a bit more of a limited release, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that Selector looking at, like, supply and demand and all that sort of stuff and um, not just, you know, cr creating a lot of bulk. Because this product, yes, there is... It should be, like, an entry-level product, but it's also, like, if you want to... You know, still pull some nicer cards. You should still have that opportunity. Um, and yeah, that's just my thoughts on it, really. But no, Select have done very well. So Jacob Weedering, Charlie Cameron, Sheasel, Connor McDonald, Footy Heads. We have Zach Merritt, and then Jai Simkin, the Luminous Base, and then players at the back. So I think ever since I've opened my eyes, we've gone not the not the best. So let's go back <laughs> to having the eyes close. All right, so we have one, two, three, and it was four, five, three, two, one. Okay, footy heads of Arthur Jones, Darcy Vessio. Okay, because I know the order can be a bit off. Looks like we have a Richmond Luminous in the back, and we have Jacob Hopper. There we go. Very nice. That will just go into the PC. Footy heads, uh, Arthur Jones goes there. What do we have left? We've got six packs left. I think we've gotten, you know, probably the biggest pull so far, but you never know. I wouldn't mind. I mean, like, I'm reading this now. One in every 54 packs, you've got the Thunderbolt Refractors. Uh, oh, the silver, sorry, the all silver ones. Okay, that's very interesting. I don't know if that's hobby only, but regardless, still very nice. Heaney, Ainsworth, Crips, Eric Hipwood, we have Purple, the Ignite, ooh, very nice. Is Ignite numbered? No, it is not, but still a very nice card. Will Ashcroft, Luminous Base, Ignite can go there. Georgie Press Barkers, Finn Callahan, and Josh Dacos. Well, I just looked the Premiership Predictor up. I mean, one in 432 packs. I mean, I don't know how accurate that is. Um, I feel like I always get a predictor in, you know, one of my boxes uh, with footy stars. I mean, I've opened them up three years in a row. I feel like there's always a predictor that does come out. Adam Chera, Josh Ward, Andrew McGrath, Shay Bolton, Angus Brayshaw, man. Uh, he's retired, unfortunately, due to his concussion. Hopefully, he's doing well. Very nice card. Uh, Fritz, English, and was that a sneaky little day cost at the end? All right. Three packs, no, four packs to go, guys. Four packs to go. Let's get one more numbered card here. Uh, I'm happy with the poor premiership predictor. You, you can't expect too much of these things, but again, it's an entry-level product, so let's see. Fife, Warner, Future Force, we have Ben King, 
which is not numbered, but still a very nice card. Tom Stewart. I have noticed a little bit of scratching in print lines, but anyways, that's fine. Tom Stewart, Josh Kelly, and we have the three base there. Three more packs to go. Let's go. Kiss the camera. Kiss this camera. Maybe I'll kiss it as well. <laughs> three left. Let me know if you have any weird superstitions. Cam Rayner. Uh, Mimi Hill. Luke Bruce. Curtis Taylor. Footyheads. Max King. I was going to say, is it Ben King on the back? But no, we have Dane Rampey. The base luminous. Uh, we have base in the back. All right, two cards left. Sorry, two packs left to go. Not two cards. One, two, oh, I've got some wrappers up here and I was like, oh, maybe they're full. I don't know. Two packs to go. Liam Baker. Rowbottom. Redman. Jake Lever. The silver. Cam McKenzie. Very nice. The silvers. Cam McKenzie, these are just the base. Uh, Petrarca, Sam Taylor, Tom Mitchell, Luke Ryan. Sorry, not Luke Ryan, Liam Ryan. All right, last pack. Very, very last pack. I can hear it. I can hear it. It is the West Coast Rising Star Predictor. <laughs> Number 001. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Joey D. Sean Darcy, Brandon Ellis, Will Day, Footyheads, Sicily. No, nah, we just have a base luminous, and it is Harry Mackay there. So I, I don't know. I don't know how many numbered cards everyone has pulled, but I think I've got about four or five there. But yeah, I mean, we'll recap it. It's an entry level product. Uh, I love opening select. It's probably the one main brand that I do open here. Like, I don't really open Panini as much as I. Uh, like to, but the price is just nuts, and you know what you can pull is yeah pretty average. Uh, so Future Force will cycle through. These are the stuff that aren't numbered. Uh, you do tend to find most of these in like every pack. Um, Stat Kings, Milestones, Horn Francis, Footy Heads there. Uh, and sorry, I've missed a pile in the back, so I've split it in half. There's a, like I said, there's a lot. Sounds like this is about a peel. Yeah, like so this. Toby Green, you can hear it. Like, there's a bit of peeling there. Like, yeah. Interesting. Is it meant to be? Is it meant to be peeled? I don't know. Um, God, now I'm thinking, are they all meant to be peeled? I'm really confused. Anyways, they're very nice cards. Um, oh, God, I'm looking like an idiot now. If I, I'm going to look this up now. Okay, it does look like... Uh, they are meant to be peeled. I mean, because of Todd Marshall here, I can feel Future Force. Yeah, okay. I did not know that. So they, I told you my knowledge of the actual, uh, you know, series is not that good. So we'll just go through the inserts. Uh, very nice. Nothing that stands out to me. But in terms of numbered cards here, very intrigued to see what the port one goes for. But we have Max Holmes. Uh, this is the oh god, I've already forgotten. Five ninety nine. What's the a Thunderbolt? Sorry, the Thunderbolt for Max Holmes. We have the Port Adelaide Premiership Predictor. That is very interesting. Very, very interesting. We shall see what that is worth. Riley O'Brien, Thunderbolt. Jack Ross, Thunderbolt. And then Tom DeConing, Superstar. So very nice cards there. But yeah, that is it for the video. Uh, you know, apologies to anyone. Uh, I thought I would know the product a little bit more, but there you go. There was a few things on the spot that you saw that I didn't spot. But yeah, if you enjoy the content, uh, make sure you leave a like, you know, answer any of the questions I had in the video. I think I asked about 10 questions uh, in, in the video itself. So let me know down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in future videos. Take care.